A recent tweet from Halo showcases that the flighting process may start up again very soon. When can we expect that flight and what's going to be in it? Well, we might have a little bit of an insight to that as well. If you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So the Halo support just put this out saying, enroll in the Halo Infinite Insider program for access to invitation only playtests. Information collected during these playtests help our developers improve the game. Already at Halo Insider, please make sure your profile is up to date, especially if you got any new hardware, verify your email address and opt into communications. If we can't contact you, we can't invite you to playtests. If you guys remember this tweet from Halo themselves, they said as of October 4th, the flighting has shut down. So that was the last time they even mentioned about flighting process within Halo Infinite, but it did stay here saying missed out, or want to join in the action next time, fully sign up at the Halo Insider. So they certainly intend to continue on with the flighting process, but October 4th was the last time we heard anything about it. Now, why are they tweeting out about this again, about the Insider program? Well, I think I know why. It has to do something with what Sketch said a few days ago about mainly about BTB and some other updates happening around, but we have that mid-February update coming around for us, guys. And what this mid-February update is gonna take care of is look into the economy, armor customization, ranked, cheating, networking, and a whole lot more. So they've already addressed the economy a little bit when it comes to the, how the store works. They've slashed the prices, increased the value in some of the bundles, which is great to see. Uh, armor customization is really cool because I know a lot of people were asking for cross-core customization. Personally, I'm not a fan of it, but you know, I could see it happening. Obviously, cheating is a big issue that's currently going on right now with Halo Infinite, so I'm sure they want to test that out for sure. The ranked system has not really been the best right now, where like you're getting some fair matches, I would say, for the most part, but oftentimes you're getting little to no CSR when you're winning. But you certainly get slapped pretty hard when you do lose. And a big issue with the functionality of the game being desync, and I think this is going to be addressed with this patch as well, is this going to be a one patch that's going to fix everything with the game? Probably not. It will most likely be a step in the right direction, but nothing, anything that would actually fix the game completely. And my assumption that the next attempt to fix BTB will be part of this February update as well, but we just have to wait and see. I hope they try to implement it sooner. I hope it's some kind of quick fix that they could possibly implement, but right now I'm just kind of thinking like, yeah, we have to wait till February for that patch to happen to get BTB working again. So make sure you're signed up for the Halo Insider, guys. I have all my sources in the link in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. If you're new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.